Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at words that have silent letters in them. This means when a word is read aloud, one letter is not used to make a sound. To help us understand why some words contain silent letters, it's helpful to look at etymology, which is the history of these words. For example, the word night comes from Old English. Although we don't pronounce the k sound now, hundreds of years ago it would have been pronounced. The word climb comes from an Old English word spelt C-L-I-M-B-A-N, in which the letter B would have made a sound. Let's take a look at some more examples of words that contain silent letters. Interestingly, some words that contain a silent letter in one accent might not contain a silent letter in another accent. Many words that end in MB or MN do not pronounce the B or the N. For example, lamb, thumb, him, solemn, autumn. Some words might have a silent T. For example, castle, listen, butcher, thistle and match. Other words can have a silent H. For example, when, white, rhythm, ghost, why? Sometimes words can start with a silent K. For example, night, knee, knife, knitting and new. As modern English has evolved over many hundreds of years, lots of the words that we use today have a history that spans back over multiple languages and countries. Although there isn't a set rule for knowing when a word will use a silent letter, Knowing the etymology of a word can help us to remember when to use them. When you've finished watching this video, why don't you try looking up the history of some other words with silent letters to see which language they originally came from? For the first question, you're being asked to fill in the missing letter for each word. You could write your answer on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. And if you're not sure about the spelling of a word, Try writing the word in several different ways and then choose the one that looks right. Pause the video here and then press play when you're ready to check your answers. Are you ready to hear the answers? Great! The first sentence says, knock on my door when you're ready to go to the park. Which letter is missing from the beginning of the word knock? Well done if you said K. The word knock is spelt with a silent K at the beginning. The second sentence says, please comb your hair. Which letter is missing from the end of the word comb? Well done if you said B. Although an E at the end would make more sense phonetically, this would spell the word come instead. Finally, the sentence, you will need to soften the butter before mixing it with the sugar. Which letter is missing from the word soften? Well done if you said the letter T. Soften has a silent T. For the next question, you're being asked to tick the correct box in each row to say whether or not the word contains a silent letter. Try reading each word out loud and listening for the sounds that each letter makes. If the word contains a letter that doesn't make a sound, it has a silent letter. If you'd like time to answer the question, Pause the video now and then hit play again when you're ready to hear the answers. Great work, let's take a look at the answers. The words are crumb, doubt, three, kangaroo and scratch. Three of these words contain a silent letter. They are crumb, doubt and scratch. Well done if you correctly spotted these three words that contain silent letters. For the final activity, you'll see a set of three sentences on the screen and each sentence will have a missing word. I'll say the word, then the word within a sentence and then I'll repeat the word again. A 10 second timer will then appear on screen and you'll have until the timer runs out to write the missing word on a piece of paper or a whiteboard. Here's a top tip. When you've written your spelling down, check it to see it looks right if it doesn't, put a line through it and have another go. If at any point you need longer to answer the question, pause the video and then hit play again when you're ready. 
When the time is finished, the answer will be revealed. Good luck. The word is hour. It took me an hour to walk home yesterday. The word is hour. Hour is spelt H-O-U-R. The word is numb. When I didn't wear my gloves, my hands felt numb. The word is numb. Num is spelt N-U-M-B. The word is knuckle. I grazed my knuckle when I fell off the swing. The word is knuckle. Knuckle is spelt K-N-U-C-K-L-E. Well done if you were able to spell all three of those words correctly. Hoo I hope this video helped you with spelling words that have silent letters in them. If you're looking for more English help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website. So why not go and check them out?